On today's video we're going to show you how to complete a lap joint on stainless steel. Firstly we're going to show you welding with 65 amps and after that we're going to show you welding with 100 amps so you can see the difference between the two. So before we get started we've got to be conscious of the fact that stainless steel will react totally different to mild steel. So now we have to be aware that stainless steel is going to distort a lot quicker than mild steel as it likes to keep the heat in and does not disperse it very well. Therefore because we know this fact we've got two choices. We have our lower our amps significantly or we weld across this joint quicker. If we weld across it quicker we risk having lack of fusion or missing certain sections of the weld. So the choice we've gone with is lowering our amps. We will usually weld this around 75 amps, but because we're working on stainless steel, we're gonna go around 65 amps. So let's have a look how we're actually welding this joint. So as you can see, that tungsten's pointing directly in the center, but we are putting a slight weave to make sure that we burn into the top edge as well as fusing into the bottom edge. A lot of the times on lap joints, you'll get something called cold lap, and that's where it doesn't fuse into the material properly and you don't realize until the material breaks that it's not fused in so to counteract that we're using this technique of a slight weave because we're only doing this in one pass that ensures that we get sufficient heat and we also point our tungsten creating fusion into both sides of the parent material so as we approach the end of our welded joint now we've got to be extremely careful because there's lots and lots of heat in this plate now but as a skilled professional we're aware of that fact so all we need to do is slightly speed up to make sure that we spread that heat evenly and you'll know if you've done this properly by a quick test you'll look at your heat affected zone line as you can see on the screen now and we don't see any excess heat or the heat affected zone line getting big towards the end which naturally happens when you don't apply this technique at the end of the weld so we've just showed you how to correctly weld it now we're going to do something slightly different and show you what it looks like if you're using excess heat or too many amps so what we can see from this now is that the top edge of the plate is burning away excessively and we're only at the start of the weld as we make our way down the joint the heat input is going to be considerably more more than the first run therefore our stainless steel properties have changed and will actually harden the material not only that we're finding it hard to control our pool all the way down the joint which obviously isn't ideal we want to be in control of this pool at all times and as you can see now as we're making our way down it's really starting to burn that top edge away so quick test to your knowledge which one's been welded with 65 amps and which one's been welded with 100 let us know your answer in the comment section down below and in the series you can see on the screen now you'll find many more tig welding videos that might tickle your fancy we'll see See you in the next one.